morning, everyone. Today's skincare routine is a morning skincare routine that includes all of my favorite brightening ingredients. So if you are like me and you deal with dark spots and you want to prevent them and reduce them, then this routine is for you. This video does include a partnership with Pharmacy. They have this new product out called Brighten Up 3% Tranexamic Acid, and it has some of my favorite brightening ingredients in it. So we're going to talk about it in just a bit. My first product is actually a mask. It's from Cypher. It's called 88 miles per hour. And this is a retinaldehyde mask. It has 0.2% retinaldehyde. If you're not familiar with retinaldehyde, it is in the retinoid family. It's a little bit stronger than regular retinol with an O because this is retinol with an A, retinaldehyde. And what that means is it's a direct conversion into retinoic acid, which is what you get when you have a prescription retinoid, like your tretinoin. So this is going to work a little bit faster than a regular retinol, which takes two conversions to get to retinoic acid. And what that means is sometimes it can be a little bit strong for people who have slightly sensitive skin or even people like me who I don't necessarily have sensitive skin, but I am sensitive to really strong retinoids. So this is a great way for me to get a high percentage of retinaldehyde into my skincare routine, but it's short contact therapy. So I get to rinse it right off. It's only going to be on my face for two minutes. You can use it in the morning time. I'm kind of at the very end of it. I've probably had it a touch too long, but you can use it in the morning time because it's going to get rinsed off of my face anyway. I am going to avoid this little area. You can see I'm dealing with some dermatitis. It has nothing to do with any of these products at all, but it did have something to do with a prescription, which sometimes can also happen. I want to tell you the inspiration behind this skincare routine. I was actually talking to a friend about dark spots, all of the discoloration that I sometimes deal with, and she deals with it too. She gets dark spots really easily. She has a little bit more of a melanin rich skin tone. So she was like, I wish I could use all of my brightening ingredients in a morning skincare routine, I feel like I can only use them at night. And I was like, mm, challenge accepted. You absolutely can find products that will help with your dark spots, even in the morning time. So besides sunscreen, retinoids are always the first ingredient that I tell people they need to incorporate into their skincare routine. So I thought this would be a fun one to show you for your morning skincare. Retinoids, number one ingredient to get into your skincare routine. Even if it's not in your morning routine, you wanna make sure that you have it in your nighttime routine. And you can actually put other retinoids in your morning skincare routine if you want. You just wanna make sure they're in a formula that can actually be used in the morning time because retinoids are very sensitive to sunlight to UV exposure. So if it's an encapsulated retinoid, you're totally fine. If it's something that you're going to rinse off and use for short contact therapy, totally fine. I'm going to wait another minute or so, and then I'm going to rinse this off. All right. So I rinsed that off my face and you can see even at 0.2% retinaldehyde, I do not have any redness. Besides that dermatitis that I'm already dealing with, it had nothing to do with that, but my skin feels really, really good. Next, this is from pharmacy. It's their brighten up 3% tranexamic acid. I'm going to go ahead and put like one or two layers of this because see, it's this liquidy texture. I think that it just does so much more when it comes to nourishing your skin because it's nice and thick feeling, but also so light that it absorbs really quickly. Obviously it has 3% tranexamic acid and tranexamic acid is this brightening ingredient that is really starting to pick up in popularity because people see such a difference in their dark spots when they use it. What I also love about this product is they have other ingredients to help brighten your skin, which I think is always super important when it comes to reducing the appearance of dark spots and even preventing dark spots from appearing because you can't really expect just one ingredient to do it all. It's like you're leaning too hard on one ingredient unless again, it's a prescription ingredient. So you wanna make sure that you're getting as much of the benefits of other ingredients all together. That way they work as a team. So I'm gonna go in with another layer of this. I want my skin to be nice and juicy. The first ingredient in this product is water, but the second ingredient is a PHA called gluconolactone. There's so much glucose gluconolactone in here. There's actually 5% gluconolactone in here. So you're getting a really good amount of it. And because it's a slightly exfoliating ingredient, it actually helps the other ingredients in this formula penetrate your skin better. And actually all of the ingredients that I'm going to put on for the rest of the skincare routine will also penetrate my skin better because of that just very slight exfoliation. I actually think that people put a little bit too much focus on it being a slightly exfoliating ingredient. It does that for sure, which can also then in turn help with brain brightening your skin and evening your skin tone. But what I especially love about gluconolactone is that it's very hydrating for the skin. And it can also have some anti-aging benefits to it as well. It feels really, really nice. 
Look at that, so juicy. One more layer. I could actually keep going, but I think this is gonna be enough. The other ingredient that I'm really pumped about in this formula is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is one of my all-time favorite ingredients. It actually is an ingredient that helps to reduce the appearance of visible redness. It helps to prevent any of the dark spots from appearing, which is also really important. You know, some people talk about how it can actually reduce the look of dark spots. I'm sure it does for some people, but it definitely prevents. Azelaic acid can also have a slight exfoliation to it as well. So that's another one of the ways that it works. In turn, it helps to unclog your pores. So there are just so many benefits. This product combines so many different ingredients that I love. It's no wonder that the clinicals on this had such great results. 100% of the people that tried this saw a visible reduction in their dark spots. 100% of the people that use this also saw an improvement in their overall skin tone evenness. And 97% of the people that tried this saw an improvement in their hyperpigmentation. So this is a really wonderful product. My skin feels so good because it's just nice and nourished and it has all of those really great brightening ingredients that I personally love. There are also nourishing ingredients in here. There's upcycled tangerine peel in here that helps to hydrate your skin. There's olantuin, there's glycerin, just so many great ingredients in just one little bottle. And you know what? I have a discount code. I'll leave all of the information in the description box below. You can use it on this product or any other pharmacy products on their website. Try this one though. If you have dark spots, this is a really good one. Next up from my brand, Naturium, this is our Alpha Arbutin Serum 2%. Alpha Arbutin is also an ingredient that I think is great for dark spots and reducing the appearance of dark spots. It's so easy to add this into your skincare routine, especially after a really nice essence like the one I just applied because it's like applying a hyaluronic acid serum. There is hyaluronic acid in here, but then you get the benefits of 2% Alpha Arbutin and we also have have niacinamide in here. I always like a really nice light serum to apply right after I use an essence just to further hydrate my skin, start to lock it all in, and then obviously get the benefits of alpha arbutin. Alpha arbutin is such a great brightening ingredient because it's actually a derivative of hydroquinone, and hydroquinone is the prescription strength ingredient that helps to reduce the look of dark spots. Easy to apply, easy to add into your skincare routine. All of these ingredients so far have been pretty easy to add into the skincare routine. They all play really well together. The retinoid obviously got rinsed off, so you don't have to even worry about that one at all. Look how my skin's looking so far. You know I'm gonna put a vitamin C in my morning skincare routine, especially one that is all about brightening. This is from Dear Lucy. This is their Marine Antioxidant Serum. This one's a little bit pricey, but I like it for a lot of reasons, especially for different skin types that cannot tolerate ascorbic acid at high percentages. It contains a fat-soluble vitamin C derivative called THD. THD is my favorite of all of the vitamin C derivatives. It's ultra-stable, it's non-irritating. This is super hydrating. You'll see, I've got it in this this stage of my routine because it's more of an emulsion. I'm gonna use a lot of it actually. It has alpha arbutin in it. It has a seaweed extract in here that I think is actually the most exciting part about this product because that seaweed extract just has some really good promising studies that show it can do a lot for your skin when it comes to anti-aging and just improving the tone of your skin. They also did some really nice clinicals on this one as well that you can go look up on their website. It starts off feeling like it's gonna dry down sticky. The stickiness just like goes away. It's so funny as it dries down. It dries fast. Actually, I'm on my last product, which is gonna be my sunscreen. This is from La Roche-Posay. You cannot get this in the United States. I'm gonna throw that out there right now. But if you are in the UK or Europe or anywhere that you can get La Roche-Posay sunscreens that are not the US filters, try this one. Not the tinted version, just the regular. It is so good. It's the Anthelios UV Immune 400. It is SPF 50 plus, but it's also long wear. And it's also really hydrating for the skin. When it comes to sunscreens that are not US sunscreens. This is probably my favorite face sunscreen right now. I love this stuff. So I let this dry down slightly. It's not sticky anymore. It feels really good. So now I'm gonna put my sunscreen on. And like I always say, your sunscreen is the most important step if you are dealing with any kind of dark spots, whether it's hyperpigmentation or melasma or any of it, you need to wear sunscreen. If you don't, then you're not taking care of your skin. So then everything that you put on it sort of doesn't matter. So that was enough just for my face. I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck as well, but you can see how it dries down. It's so nice. I always stock up on this one. If I'm gonna really be outside, this is the one I want 
want to wear for when I'm traveling, that kind of stuff, because it is long wear. And that is my morning brightening skincare routine. I'm actually going to give you a little sneak peek of a new pharmacy product called Lip Smoothie in the scent Apple. It's a vitamin C and peptide lip balm. They sent this over to me, so I thought, why not give you a little sneak peek? It's not available right now, but it will be very soon. Mmm, look at that. I love apple. They had an apple version of their cleansing balm that also smelled so good, just like this. This will be available soon and you'll be able to use my discount code on this as well. Ooh, glossy. I love glossy. This is my first time using it and it is nice. No flavor, just a scent. No color either, but very glossy. Anyway, I hope this skincare routine was helpful. I really wanted to point out all the brightening skincare ingredients you can actually incorporate into one skincare routine. So I do get a lot of questions about, well, what can you use together? It turns out a lot of these brightening skincare ingredients work really well together. So it's totally fine to combine them in your routine and you'll see faster results when you are combining them. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.